Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Roll call of Alderman. Tom Poor. Here. Finance Director Jamie Matrit. Here. City Engineer Tim Gregorowitz. Here. Director of Maintenance Ken Vaughn. Here. Human Resource Director Sherry Thaver. Here. Director of Parks and Recreation Debbie Belville. Here. Health and Housing Director Bob Sabo. Here. Director of Public Works Jason Poole. Here. Director of Wastewater Royce Carlisle. Here. Director of Economic Development Anissa McCaskill. Here. And Director of Library, Leander, Leander Spearman. Okay. Very good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to ask you to stand and join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to remind everyone that um, Alderman, and uh, I know we have a few that are still just in their first couple meetings, please use the microphones when you speak so that everything gets recorded properly, both for the clerk's audio and for the, uh, the video that we're doing that we, it does show up on cable and online, both. So if you haven't, uh, uh, you can check on our website about those opportunities. So at this time, I want to go over the uh, emergency exit. If we would happen to leave this building because of uh, fire chief says we got to get out, smoke, some flames, odor, whatever, heaven forbid, there's an exit back over in that corner right over there that takes you outside. Most of us came in the stairway here, and uh, we would ask that you would exit calmly and quickly if asked to, and we would ask that you would go in front of the theater, the uh, auditorium building at the steps there, and kind of gather so that we can check and see if the people sitting with us were all, you know, got out, all the, you know, everybody we can kind of count for. If we had a storm, we'd ask that you would go to the building, if we're ever in this room, go to the basement, and go to the inner hallways or in the bathroom where there's no windows, and seek shelter. So that covers those situations. We have no public hearing this evening. I would like at this time now to open public participation. Let me just say, I'll call on you. If you have something to address the council tonight, this is the time. You get two to three minutes. You give your name, please. Come to the microphone in the center. Speak into the microphone. And uh, by all means, we ask that everybody keeps their comments civil and about preferably something going on in the city or on the agenda tonight. So I'll now open public participation. Who would like to go first? Anyone this evening? Gentlemen in the back of the room. to explain what's on your mind tonight 
but I'm not going to tolerate starting to, we have high school students here tonight, to start to get that specific with your feelings. It's not fair. Okay? Not in good taste. Maybe the high school kids need to know what's going on in this town. Well, they don't. They're, very, they're very intelligent. You'd be surprised. It doesn't seem like it. The same people collect all the time. Okay. Uh, the alderman has got the reputation of being bobbleheads. And here I see in your presentation, recommendation, and appointments, you single-handedly uh, have named, I mean, you single-handedly named eight out of nine. And it might have helped if you would have said, I'm just trying to, Mayor Eckert and the alderman recognized the following. And Mayor Eckert moves to her, and Mayor Eckert and the board recommends to appoint, you know, instead of, we all know that the, Whatever you say it goes, but to make it less blatant, you know, it could be a little softened a little bit, maybe. Uh, I don't think we need 16 aldermen, eight would be fine. And I don't know about this fair uh, crime-free housing. I was watching TV the other night in my living room, and I had a, and this is about a, almost a block away, I heard a huge argument going on. And uh, I went up, got up, and looked. And it looked like there was going to be a knockdown, drag out, shoot out, who knows what. Before it was all over, two police cars were there in an ambulance. And the next day, one of the people involved packed up all his stuff and left. And so I don't know why, how this guy ever managed it. You didn't uh, admit it to this apartment in the first place. He evidently had some problems. And he didn't last long there because it looked like there was going to be a shooting or, a, or something very sort of serious. So the police and two, and had two police cars and an ambulance came. But I don't know what happened, how it turned off. All I know is the next day he packed up all his stuff and it's gone. Okay. okay Thank you. Who's next? Anyone this evening? In the back of the room, Ellie, who's next? Mayor Eckert, Aldermen, Alderwomen, I have a question for you, please. Could you give your name first? Mary Wilson. I'd like to know what president you said, you all said, when determining street closures in downtown Belleville. How was it determined? What business benefits, what business doesn't, and for the betterment of the city? And this is public participation, your opportunity to speak and, and voice your concerns, but in this section, no this, this is not a question okay, answer. Okay, then I'll, I'll make a statement. I think it's very um, unfair of the decisions that have been made in the past regarding the two street closures that's coming up on High Street. I'm an employee of one of those businesses. And it offend, well, affects our business drastically when I have to take away from the duties that I'm being paid for in that business to deal with the people that are outside. I don't think that any consideration has been given to our business, which is Ben's, I work at Ben's, excuse me. And I just think that a little bit better um, credence needs to go be put forth into deciding how this is done. Okay, thank you for your opinion. You're welcome. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. You're next. Hello, good evening. I am Beth. I am uh, the manager at Benz in downtown Belleville. And um, I sent an email to each and every one of you concerning um, the street closures and my um, opinion on them. Um, I hope that it has been sent to you. I also want to say that I hear supporting every business in Balbo. Um, it's I am not trying to um, hurt any other business. I want all of the businesses downtown to be successful. Um, but I think that each business needs to be accountable for themselves. And if a street closure is a detriment to one business where it helps another business, I don't really feel that that's fair. I think that. Um, if they can't figure out a way to make it happen where it's not a detriment to the other businesses, it shouldn't be done. 
I also feel like uh, before something like this goes to the city council, um, the, local, the businesses that it affects should be notified somehow. Um, I was never notified. Um, I, I just, and other businesses feel the same way. Uh, there's also um, a letter from the Lincoln uh, where they state that although they don't feel that this particular street closure is a detriment to them, the way that they are handled um, is a big problem. And that's why I'm here. We have talked before about how street closures are a problem, and I just don't feel it's ever really been addressed. So um, I, that's why I'm here. And I will be glad to answer any questions. Again, we are doing everything we can to support this city. Um, on my letter, I attached a copy of a postcard that we have put out at our expense and we hand out to customers and we try to educate customers about the benefits to the city and to the community when they shop local. We are very um, determined to try and educate people where we can. And so we just feel like we are really trying to support this city and we feel like the city needs to help support us as well. Um, and you know, all businesses downtown, not one over another. Thank you. Okay, is there anyone else this evening? Hearing none, I'm gonna close public participation. At this point, uh, I'm gonna go into presentations, recognitions, and appointments. And the first uh, recognition this evening is uh, probably long overdue, but it comes at a time when it's very appropriate to do it tonight. I'd like to ask Dennis Cordy Sr. to please come forward. Uh, today was the Belleville Township's last day, and Dennis uh, served the last 20 years as Township Supervisor, and 20 year, 22 years prior to that as a Township Trustee. So Dennis, would you come forward for this presentation? Dennis Cordy uh, was appointed to the township in 1975 when our boss, we worked together at that time, Pete Gardner, uh, passed away. And uh, Dennis took Pete's spot on the township board for 22 years and then ran for the township supervisor in 1997, the same year I ran for alderman. And um, what a lot of people don't know is that while this was always a part-time position, uh, Dennis put in countless hours and networked constantly with agencies throughout the community trying to continuously bring the most possible maximum service to people who needed help uh, anywhere in the city. Uh, Dennis' service to the city was impeccable and to the residents, many of who, uh, as our good friend here Joe Hubbard would tell you, are experienced a lot of heartbreak over the years, some of those folks, and a lot of, uh, a lot of broken people in many respects, but uh, Dennis would reach out to agencies that, like Joe, with Catholic Urban Programs over the years, and St. Vincent de Paul, and many churches, and different, and we had to network to find the different places that we could help people. Um, the city, as you know, with consultation with Dennis and the previous board members, uh, voted some time ago to take over the township effectively tonight at midnight and take over those duties. And it's going to be, you might have read in the paper this evening online, um, it's going to be called City of Belleville General and Community Assistance. And Sherry back here, wait, raise your hand, Sherry. She's going to, she's going to have the task, uh, per my direction, to uh, oversee it. And it's certainly, we're going to be at the same location for a while until we get moved around City Hall. But Dennis, tonight is our chance to thank you. Um, words really can't say enough. It says this plaque, which is a very small token of our appreciation, presented to Dennis F. Cordy Sr. In grateful appreciation for 42 years of dedicated service to Belleville Township and for serving the past 20 years as supervisor, 1975 to 2017. Dennis, uh, you've been a great friend, and uh, what you've done for the city of Belleville and so many residents, some passing through only, but many of them who were just down and out, you've been, you've been unbelievably uh, loyal to those folks, so we thank you.
show you guys. Dog, you guys. Dog. Not anymore. I told you. Don't touch it. Just speak loud, Dennis. Thank you very much. I was very humbled by your remarks, Mark. But thank you very much. It has been an honor to serve the past years, and with the help of uh, caseworkers and myself, we. Uh, we're very happy to see that we can help various people who are in dire need. Thank you Thanks, very much. Guys. Appreciate it. I think we're done with that one. Okay, I think my memory serves me here. We go on next. Let's see if I can try something else. Um, this time we're going to recognize, I'm going to ask these three young gentlemen from Altal Catholic High School to come forward. You know, if, gentlemen, I think if you all will remember with me, in the last, uh, well, the last 12 years I've had the pleasure of serving as mayor, we've had Alta High School here a number of times. Uh, we've been very blessed in the city to see them go to state and win a number of different recognitions. And again, tonight is uh, uh, no small accomplishment. These three young gentlemen here, we have two brothers, I take it, right? So we have Danny, which was Danny, Ron Engel, close, and Zach. And we also have Chase Biddle. These certificates read, Certificate of Recognition presented to the three gentlemen I just mentioned in recognition of your achievement as 2017 um, IHSA, I that little letter there kind of, a state wrestling champion. Your hard work and dedication to reach your goals serves as an inspiration to all. The city of Belleville is very proud of your accomplishments and wishes you all the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. To win state is no easy task. The perseverance, the dedication, the practice, and the good news is these three are all juniors. So Altov's going to get to see them again next year uh, back competing for their state. Chase, this one's yours. Gentlemen, we, we, uh, we appreciate what you're doing both here in sports, what you bring to school every day in your academics and in your character, and we just ask you to continue. We wish you the best of luck, and we felt it was really important tonight that we recognize this outstanding accomplishment. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. congratulate the parents uh, and extended family members who I'm sure are here tonight because they know what it's like ever since they were little, going to the practices, taking them where they had to be, going to state and all these things. It's a, it's a, it's a family effort, it's a school effort, but thank you to all of you for what you do. Have a few uh, appointments, and I'd like to ask uh, first one. I'd like to ask if someone's willing to make an motion to appoint August E. Warner Jr. to serve a three-year term on the Fire Pension Board. So motion by Alderman Consilla, second by Alderman Cusa. Do I hear any discussion on this? Roll call. Hazel. Aye. Consilla. Aye. Cusa. Aye. Bittner. Aye. Randall. Aye. Tyler. Absent. Anthony. Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dintelman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Okay, the next uh, motion I'd like to ask, I'd like to ask for a motion to waive the 10-day notice requirement for an appointment under section 31-056 of the City Revised Code of Ordinances. We put this out, motion of Alderman Wigington, do I hear a second? Second of Alderman Hazel. We advertised this email wise about six, seven days ago, but to make sure there is that provision in case somebody had a problem with it. Uh, so at this time, if there's no other questions about this, I just ask for a, a, a roll call to approve the uh, waiving of this notice. Hazel? All right. Kinsella? All right. Pusa? All right. Bittner? All right. Randall? All right. Tyler? All right. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dentelman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Um, at this time, I'd ask for a motion to approve my 
recommendation for an appointment of John Hartman to Assistant Director of Public Works. Motion by Alderman Dittleman. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Schaefer. Do I hear discussion? Uh, just let me say here that um, I don't have my notes in front of me. I walked off and left this paper on my desk, but I think John, how many years have you been with the city? 17, 17 years, and um, upon interviewing John, um, we found out that he was the only one we interviewed that had every uh, certificate we were looking for and had his hands and experience in virtually all aspects of public works that we feel very comfortable. We believe his uh, leadership he had many years ago in the Marine Corps, he, he, he managed many people, and we believe his experience with public works is going to give Jason Poole the kind of assistance that he needs to run right now this summertime. They have about 60 to 65 people that they're over with all the part-time help, etc. So if there's no further questions at this time, I'm going to ask for a roll call a vote to approve my recommendation of John Hartman. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Kusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Gaw? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wiggington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. John, you want to stand up and let them see who you are? <laughs> Congratulations, John. You and your wife, and uh, we look forward to a good working relationship. They have the street, the public works is over. The two of these gentlemen now will be working together to oversee all the streets in Belleville, the sanitation department, Walnut Hill Cemetery, um, Mount Hope, which we've unfortunately inherited the maintenance out there. And they are still, until we have further chance to uh, uh, evaluate and have further discussion amongst all of us, they're still helping with the parks maintenance as well. So they've got their plate full. Right now they got their plate full as uh, art of the square preparation. But uh, I know Jason's the most happy to see you in this position. So thanks, John. Okay, we move on. Um, I don't know how you want to do this. We can put these next ones as a group if somebody wants to or we can do them individually. Does anybody have any objections to put them as a group? Is that okay? Okay, so I'm asking for a motion to approve a reappointment of Tom Dingus to serve a two-year term on the Police Pension Board. A motion, I'm requesting the same motion to appoint, reappoint Helen Thompson, who is a retired teacher, to serve three-year term uh, on the Library Board. A uh, recommendation to approve Molly McKenzie for a one-year term on Historic Preservation Commission. And a recommendation to approve the following individuals to each serve a three-year term on the Planning Commission. Uh, Chris Rothweiler and Don Rigney. Do I hear a motion? Move. Motion by Alderman Wigington, second by Mary Steele. Do I hear discussion? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gaw? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wiggington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motions carry to approve those appointees and we'll get letters out to them thanking them. Many of them have served before. I think almost all of them have this time. And uh, we appreciate what all these citizens do on these boards. We'll have a few more to finish up probably at the next meeting. There's a few more vacancies and a couple boards. And uh, it was just a matter of kind of having the time to get them all worked through. At this time, we go to the uh, approval of the minutes. We have the City Council meeting minutes from May 1st, 2017. What's your pleasure? I make a motion to uh, approve <clears throat> Motion to accept and file the minutes from, 2000, from May 1st. I hear a second. Second by Alderman McGaugh. The motion was by Alderman Pusa. Any additions or corrections to the minutes? All in favor of accepting and filing signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Payroll claims and disbursements. I'd like to ask for a motion to uh, pay the bills. Uh, the claims and disbursements, $1,300,000. Um, $1,300,443.37. And also a payroll in the amount of $1,092,484.02. Do I hear a motion to pay those two amounts? Motion by Alderman Anthony, second by Alderman Elmore. Any discussion on the claims or disbursements or payroll? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. 
Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Gentleman? Aye. Goff? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. We have City Treasurer's Report, Statement of Cash and Investment Report 2017. Do I hear a motion to accept and file for audit? Motion by Alderman Elmore. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Kinsella. Do I hear discussion? All in favor of receiving and filing, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We go on to number 10, number 11. Uh, standing Committee reports, Health and Housing, Alderman Pusa. Would you like to make the following motion? Yes. Motion to accept the low bid in the amount of $53,137 from Hayes Contracting Incorporated for the demolition of 128 North A Street, 210 McTeal, 322 Pleasant Hill, 9909 and 9915 Olympia, 1720 West Bell, 553 North 40th, and 24 Queens Way. We have a motion by Alderman Pusa. Do I hear second by Alderman Kinsella? Do I hear discussion on these demolitions? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gaw? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Streets and grades, Alderman Wigington? Your Honor, on behalf of Streets and Grades, I'd like to make a motion to the 2018 ditching program. Uh, consider approval of supply industrial solutions in the amount of $142,211 MFT TIF funds so moved. You want to do them individually or do you guys have a problem with room together? I can do it. Right, group, group together. Group together. Okay, thank you. Continue. All right. Uh, on behalf of Streets and Grades, make a motion to consider approval of RCS construction in the amount of $198,645,000 MFT TIF funds. On behalf of Streets and Grades for the general maintenance aggregates, I make a motion to consider a belt Beelman Logistics in the amount of $38,907 MFT funds. On behalf of Streets and Grades, make a motion for the 2018 general maintenance chip. Consider approval of Beelman Logistics in the amount of $74,822 for Group 3A Trap Rock, for $41,952 for Group 3A Crush Limestone, and consider approval of Wolfmar in the amount of thirty thousand two hundred ten for Group Three C truck spread, eleven thousand four hundred for Group Three D roller MFT funds. We have Streets and Grades make a motion for the Bell C I P P quote. Consider approval of Visu Sewer of Missouri LLC in amount of eleven thousand six hundred thirteen thousand uh, TIF three funds. So moved. Motion by Alderman Wigington to approve those items for the uh, Streets and Grades. Do I hear a second? Okay. Second by Alderman uh, Bittner. Do I hear discussion on those items? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Goff? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motions carry. At this time, the Zoning Board of Appeals reports recommendations. I'll ask the City Clerk to please read them. Motion 11 C1, 22 April 17, 100 South Charles Street, the request for a use variance to allow the production of toiletries at 100 South Charles Street. Parcel number, number 08 220 347 001, located in the C2 Heavy Commercial Zoning District. Applicable portion of zoning code 162.247 and 162.570. This is in Ward 6, and it was recommended for approval 7 to 0. Asking for a motion to uh, uh, all in favor to have the proper margins to our motion. Motion, motion. motion by Alderman Gahn, do I hear a second? Second. Second by Alderman Steele, do I hear discussion? All in favor to have proper margins drawn signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is, let me ask this question. Are there concerns about any of these, or can we? would you prefer that we read the rest of these as approved? As approved. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, then go ahead. Let's read these. Uh, read these three together here. Okay. A motion. A motion 11 C2, 23 April 17, Todd Gear Auto Sale, a request for a special use permit for the sale of used motor vehicles at 4501 North Belt West, parcel number 08070, 
423-023, located in a C2 heavy commercial zoning district, applicable portion of zoning code 162.248, Ward 4, recommended for approval 7 to 0. Case 11C3, 24 April 17, Hamilton Gallery de Art, a request for a sign installation permit in the area of special control in order to place one flush mounted sign at 8 South Church Street, parcel 08220-340-002, located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable portion of the zoning code 155.052, in Ward 6, recommended for approval 7-0. And 11C4, 25 April 17, M.E. and E. Trading, LLC, a request for a special use permit for a liquor license at 9618 West Main Street, parcel 02350-211-013-014-015-016, located in a C2 heavy commercial district, applicable portion of the zoning code 162.248, 162.515 in Ward 8, recommended for approval, 7 to 0, stipulation in the name of the applicant only. Do I hear a motion to approve 11C2, 11C3, 11C4, and have the proper ordinances? <coughs> motion by Alderman Anthony, do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Kinsella. Any discussion? All in favor, signify it by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Finance Committee, um, Alderman Kinsella? I'd like to make a motion to approve the budget amendment as recommended by the finance director. Motion by Alderman Kinsella, second by Alderman Pusa. Do I hear discussion? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Uh, I'd ask for a motion to approve a change order uh, 003 in the amount of zero dollars uh, for the public building improvements phase two renovations for 101 South Illinois Street City Hall. And I think it's been explained pretty much. Uh, first of all, I'd ask that we get a motion so we can have it on here for discussion. Do I hear a motion to a motion to approve this by Alderman Cruiser? Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Schaefer. Do I okay, anybody have any questions about what you've read? It's uh, Kenny's here if we need to uh, explain anything. If there's no questions, I just ask for a roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Fittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. At this time, I'd ask for a motion. You might, some of you might remember if you've been on for a while. A number of years ago, uh, I had to get permission to serve on the board for the Illinois Municipal League when I was asked to take a board position. Uh, you're probably aware that actually earlier in the year I officially took over as first vice president. And as we move forward this year and into September, when I am now that I was reelected, I am uh, with the change of bylaws, I automatically am slated to become president of the Illinois Municipal League for a one-year period beginning September 23rd, 2017. Uh, Belleville has not had a mayor ever serve in this capacity, but I felt it was necessary that I would get the board the council's endorsement. I think everybody's well aware of this. It's been talked about. It is quite an honor uh, to do this, uh, and it's been very beneficial as far as uh, being able to speak out on behalf of cities with all the stuff going on in the state. So at this time, I'd ask if someone's willing to make a motion to approve this. Alderman Wigington, second by Alderman Hazel. Discussion? Doesn't require any city funds, does it? No, we, um, we got, I've been budgeted for years to go to the conference, and um, um, you know, there's really, anyway, the weather, the office, yeah, I mean, we have a little bit of budget in there for a few of the travel things. I go to meetings with mayors anyway, uh, and most of it is out of my own uh, pocket for the most part, so, uh, but like I said, we, uh, this is quite an honor. We have a motion and we have a second. There's no further questions, roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. 
Motion carries, and I thank you. Planning Commission, uh, all the gentlemen. Uh, sure. On behalf of the Planning Commission, I'd like to make a motion to approve the Motormore Corporate Office Test Kitchen Edition. It'll be at 721 West Main Street. Site plan and architectural elevations for a 577 square foot building addition to an existing C2 heavy commercial district zone structure. Motion by Alderman Dillman, second by Alderman Hazel. Discussions? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Kusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Ga? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Williamson? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Communications? 12A, communication from Seven Restaurant requesting to have a block party on July 7th, 2017 to celebrate their grand reopening from 7 p.m. to midnight, requesting to close South High starting from 4 p.m. to midnight, also requesting 5 to 10 picnic tables and 4 to 5 <coughs> extra trash receptacles. Okay, first of all, we have a motion to put this on the agenda, on the, on the table here. Motion by Alderman Schaefer, second by Alderman Gott. Uh, I'll open it for discussion. Um, I, I just want to say for starters though, I, I received a call from the chamber today. They are working with uh, the two new owners of Seven for a ribbon cutting that night as they work with a lot of new businesses. So she wanted me to make sure that she knew that we worked with the chamber. In, in all fairness, uh, we had asked Bevel Main Street in the chamber some years ago to try to communicate when these requests were coming in. And I'm not saying that the communication has been perfect, but we've tried to improve upon it. Um, having <coughs> special grand openings or special things when pe businesses are being reopened or rededicated or whatever is not uncommon in the city. And uh, when, the, when the ladies first came to me, they first wanted to do it a little bit earlier, and I suggested that we <coughs> move it back a couple hours to 4 o'clock so that they could get all their stuff set up, and they were cooperative with that request. And um, so that's what we have here tonight. Um, you know, I think that there's uh, been a lot of discussion in the past about being cognizant of uh, all businesses, but um, I also know that you know, everybody's not gonna see it the same way all the time. Um, I did encourage these young ladies when they came in and got their liquor license that they uh, work hard to reach out to the neighbors. I know they did go over and talk back in March and uh, you know, try to establish some rapport. So I can just give you that update what's come through my office. So I'll open it for discussion at this time. We do have a motion and a second to approve this request. Any further comments? Yes, sir. I, uh, I really was interested in seeing us not close streets for one business. Uh, I'm, I'm totally in support of closing the streets when we do it for events, uh, obviously, but for one business, draws some concerns, but it looks like this is just for one hour. Um, so I personally, I'm okay with it since it's, uh, Ben's closes at five and this closure of the street starts at four. But probably more important is when the street signs get hung. Is it possible that this could be amended that the street signs don't even get hung until like two o'clock? Well, and that they get removed by we we I talked, to, I talked with Ben's about an event not too long ago, and I tried to cooperate. We took him down the next night or morning early. That was a concern, and I won't disagree. Previous signs prior to Jason Poole taking over were a little vaguely stated, so we're going to have to be a lot more specific. We're going to try to get bigger font. On, when I'm talking about signs, the signs that go on the parking meters so that we don't turn people away before they need to be turned away, okay? So we are working on this. We're, we're very uh, aware. Uh, Jason and I and, and my office have agreed to uh, be much more specific. For example, uh, these signs will not be uh, put out until that morning. Instead of, they used to put them out sometimes before the guys went home on Friday uh, to, because of overtime and that stuff but we've agreed to put them out first. On the, now this particular date's different, but I'm, the last one was a Saturday event we had, and, and we put them out that morning. So we're trying to work on cooperating and not have them out too, too many hours ahead of time, but you can't, you gotta give the people parking plenty of notice that they don't park there and leave the car. 
But that means that their morning business but is going to see that no parking sign. No, it's going to say no parking on such and such a date from or after 4 p.m. this date. It's going to say, you know, it's going to give a specific time and be spelled out. And we're going to try to make that instead of having a kind of a... a I just think that a lot of people pull up there, they're trying to find that parking spot, they're in a hurry, they see no parking, and they move on. Well, you can't, I agree, I hear it, that's what, I'm very much aware, and we're going to try to, we're going to try to correct us, and we're going to try not to do it too early, and we're going to try to be more specific. Um, can we hang the signs at noon? Well, four I, hours? Think, I think we can try to get it done, because what's the parking say there right now? What is the time? Is it... Uh, was it one hour parking on the street? Tim, do you remember? Is it one hour parking on the street? Uh, yes, two hours. Is that what it says? So we'd have to hang it at least by, by noon, would be fair. So people know. So I think we can do that. And, sure and I have the morning. Uh, and, and, and just so everybody understands, we, we tried to work with everybody, and we're still working with them. When <coughs> Beth's father called me a couple months ago and called Chief Sparger, to, to block off the front parking stalls on Main Street for two or three days because they were trying to unload some equipment from a building they were selling there. Uh, we didn't have enough time to bring it to a city meeting, so I signed an executive order. I felt it was a reasonable request. The man from the one shop next door yelled at me for two days. I understand that's gonna happen. Uh, he was very upset, and I told him, I said, look it, you know, I didn't get notice of this till the other day. I made a decision. He's been in business a long time. We felt this was reasonable, and, and we're going to close this off so that they can back trucks in here and unload, et cetera. We've tried, to be, we've tried to be open both ways and tried to work with people, but we understand it's not a perfect world, so we're going to try to improve the, the parking, no parking signs, uh, but this is for a limited time. And it's a one-time grand opening. I'm just glad they bought the business and that we got the business not sitting there empty. And Mayor, I was going to second that. Actually, this is always a bone of contention, as we know. But um, number one, um, we have a lot of seasoned retailers and merchants and business people downtown. These young ladies have worked there for a while. The business has been there for several years. But you know, business breeds business. It would be really kind of a, a sorry if both restaurants would have closed up and gone away. They're taking an investment. Uh, a great way to jumpstart any business is with a grand opening, ribbon cutting, party, let people know there are new owners, uh, they are staying in town, um, they're going to carry on the tradition, and um, you know, the way our, our downtown is laying out now, and we're always looking you know, to fill these empty buildings, we can't afford to have two empty buildings. There is one thing I would like to say though, I would just wonder if these young ladies would consider, on behalf of Ben's, if they would just move it back from five to midnight instead of four. Let Ben's close at five. Uh, that would be, I think, a, 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 um, a nice a compromise, uh, be a, a nice neighborly thing to do. I don't think one hour off of their grand opening at ribbon cutting would maybe mean that much difference, but this way Ben's is closed. Their people are out of there, start at five, go to midnight, jumpstart their business, get some new customers. So I'm just saying that would they possibly consider moving that to five? Well, they originally, Roger, had asked to be earlier because of setting up the stage, I believe, and I don't know if there's a tent involved. So there's some, there's there's some pre-work, and that was why we, we did get it moved back to four. They were actually wanted three or two before, and I, I, I asked if they couldn't. So there was a compromise from their original request. I hear you, but I know that when you start to put stages up and and set everything up, there is some time uh, so that you're ready when people do arrive. So um, I would ask them to consider that we don't close any sooner than we have to, but I also know that when you put a function on, you, you, you see that when we do order a square next this week, we close the square at, at noon because we can't get everything set up. It's a much bigger event, but it's set up time. So I hear all these things. We have a motion and we have a second. Further discussion? Is it possible that whenever we have events like this where it's a single business closing the street that they would be responsible for taking down the signs? Or does it have to be the city no, that I gets think, the signs done? I, I think we... Yeah, we take them yeah. down. Okay. Well, they, they have, they have problems, too. but we want to make sure that signs are taken down. That, you know, um, 
Any other Mayor, questions? I don't know why they could take them down, but I was told I wasn't okay. allowed to. Okay, I would prefer, I think what I told you is I prefer, I didn't know that they have taken them down before. I prefer to have staff because we've had situations where people said, oh, there was a miscue and we just took them down, we thought we were supposed to. And then they went, the signs went down before they were supposed to go down and it's just really better. We'll get people there. We'll get people, there. we've had a lot of cooperation. Uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had the situation, myself and uh, one of the policemen on a Sunday morning took the signs down early. We'll, we'll work together, we'll get them down. We'll get them down. That's the, that's the least of our problems. But we'll make sure that they don't stay up and mess with your business, too. I promise that. Um, so we, we have a motion and we have a second on the floor uh, to approve this one-time request at this particular situation. Uh, if there's no further questions, I'm going to ask for a roll call because of the questions raised. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Husa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? No. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dintelman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries a good discussion and I thank everybody for their, for their input. Uh, at this time we have no petitions this evening. We have resolutions. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only. There's two resolutions. They're both pertaining to uh, uh, resolution 3302 and resolution 3303. And if you're willing to read them by title only as a group, I ask for that. Motion by Alderman Wigington. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Schaefer. Discussion on the reading those two by title only as a group. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 14A, resolution 3302. A resolution amending the annual budget of the City of Belleville, Illinois for the fiscal year beginning on the first day of May 2017 and ending on the 30th day of April 2018. 14B, Resolution 3303, a resolution amending the annual budget of the City of Belleville, Illinois for the fiscal year beginning on the first day of May 2017 and ending on the 30th day of April 2018. Just, Jamie, the second part of that is the new township budget, right? So everybody, if you saw that, we had to have, a, we couldn't do it until tonight, but we had to have it so we could get started, and it's our best estimate of everything that we're doing, working off of what they had. So we have a, mo do I hear a motion and a second to approve resolution 3302 and 3303? Motion and a second by Schaefer, motion was by Kinsella. If there's no further discussion, roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Kusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygott? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. We go to ordinance. I'd ask for a motion to read by title only. Ordinance 8043, 8044, 8045, 8046, and 8047. What's your pleasure? Motion by Alderman Pusa. I hear a second. Second volume of steel. Uh, is there any problem with reading these as a group? So the motion would be to read them by title only and as a group. All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 15A, ordinance number 8043, 2017, the zoning ordinance in regards to case number 22, April 17, 100 South Charles Street, Catherine Shirtliff. 15B is an ordinance number 8. 044-2017, a zoning ordinance in regards to case number 23, April 17, Top Gear Auto Sale. 15C is ordinance number 8045-2017, a zoning ordinance in regards to case number 24, April 17, Hamilton Gallery de Art. 15D, ordinance number 8046-2017, a zoning ordinance in regards to case number 25, April 17, M E and E Trading LLC, 15E Ordinance Number 8047, 2017, an ordinance establishing City of Belleville General and Community Assistance former Belleville Township functions. Do I hear a motion to approve ordinances 8043, 44, 45, 46, and 47? <coughs> motion to to approve those ordinances. Do I hear a second? <coughs> hear a second. Second. <coughs> Do I hear a discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Pusa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. 
Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dentelman? Aye. Ga? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygod? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. Unfinished business, is there any this evening? Yes, sir. Um, on the uh, south of 11th Street, uh, on the uh, Frank, Frank Scott Parkway, the uh, Holmes Project in the uh, Mr. <coughs> Anything? Yeah, they uh, they met with us a couple weeks ago, and we should be having a meeting with Royce and uh, probably coming to Master Sewer for uh, his update. But he's got a new person now doing their earth moving, and they're I understand ready to get started. But they had a change of uh, one guy was a partner in that business, and he's went away. Well, they've got to, they've got a new one. So the fire was started. Uh, what I was told is that they're planning, planning to get moving, and I believe you're going to probably see them on the agenda at Master Sewer to have um, uh, the issue discussed there. Uh, we move on to a miscellaneous of new business. I ask for a motion to approve the motor fuel claim, $7,070.19. What's your pleasure? Motion by Alderman Elmore. Do I hear a second? Second by Alderman Anthony. Do I hear a discussion? Roll call on motor fuel claims. Hazel? Aye. Kinsella? Aye. Husa? Aye. Bittner? Aye. Randall? Aye. Tyler? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Gah? Aye. Steele? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wigington? Aye. Barfield? Aye. Motion carries. I'd ask for a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel litigation. Oh, do we have any work this time? Collective bargaining. Uh, for those reasons, do I hear a motion to go in executive session for those stated reasons? Alderman Hazel made the motion, second by Alderman Kinsella. All in favor of going into executive session for those reasons, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Sherry Faber um, and... gentlemen we are now back in regular session and there's no action that was uh, on the agenda to be taken so at this time I would like to open it up for a motion to adjourn and do I hear a second a second anybody want to second the motion to adjourn <laughs> ward three wants to get out of here hey, Randall and Tyler all in favor of adjournment signify by saying aye, aye. opposed you can stay thank you